All right, show of hands. How many of you did the holiday season come early for this year with Mattel WWE Ultimate Edition Series 11 right here in hand and ready to be unboxed? Happy Hanukkah, Mark. We were expecting to get our hands on Kane and Undertaker in Mattel WWE Ultimate Edition Series 11 a little bit later in the year, but it's arrived at Ringside Collectibles. It's already started shipping for those who pre-ordered, so if you missed out, don't do it again. This is what happens. You never know. Ultimate Edition Series 11, Brothers of Destruction. Let's crack them open. We'll start with The Undertaker. And this version of Undertaker, it's really exciting because this is the version that I always like to say made little kids cry. I don't want to make little kids cry. It's not something that I'm running around trying to do often, but it just goes to show that sometimes in wrestling, you know, you can be a bad guy and you can be extra scary too. So this is the version of Undertaker, Ministry of Darkness. This is full on Attitude Era and little kids were in tears when he would come to the ring. He was really frightening for a lot of little guys and uh, for the big guys and ladies out there, he was a great foil for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Just so many memories with this version of The Undertaker, so it's gonna be great to take a look at. First, have a look at this head sculpt that's included. This is kind of a standard Undertaker head sculpt. We've got some long hair, sideburns, and that uh, serious, but you know, a little spooky look on his face here. And we have the tongue out, white-eyed Undertaker head sculpt also included. This is when he's in the middle of the ring, his fire's going off, he's posing, he's down on one knee. It's a good look for him. Me personally, I'm probably gonna leave it with the main head sculpt on, which we'll get to in a second. But for all you figure photographers out there, I can't wait to see some great poses. Just don't use real fire unless you have a fire extinguisher close. Also included are a pair of gloved hands with a thumbs up and a wide open chokeslam hand. And a couple of interchangeable open hands. The exciting thing about these for all you detail oriented folks out there, look, the pegs are black now too. So it fits just like a real glove should. Now let's take a look at Undertaker's entrance jacket. This is just out of control. Not only is it really detailed, you can see in the front right here, we have uh, the top part, kind of the neck part here. The studs are all across the back. They're all along the front. It opens up wide right here. You can push those two buckles right in. The really interesting thing about this entrance jacket for me though, the cape. So you look on the back, we have the detail here, but the cape is like a new kind of heavy duty cloth material. It's a lot heavier than what you would normally expect for cloth material from Mattel. You can see even as I'm just picking it up, it's really, it's, it's weighted, so it falls right down. This is gonna fit Undertaker in most of your displays really perfectly. It's just really incredible that we're getting this kind of detail and material quality in the jacket. So pretty cool to see that. Here it is all the way down to the feet. Have a look from the back also. Nice and heavy, like I said. Looking good. Now here is the actual figure with the long-awaited Undertaker head sculpt uh, There's all new head sculpts for Undertaker, never seen on any other figure before. A lot of you were being real smart assy, saying in the prototype photos that it looked like Michael Jackson. See, this is what happens when you, when you beg for likes and try to make uh, low-hanging fruit jokes, you end up looking goofy in the end because, you know, it doesn't really look like Michael Jackson. It looks like The Undertaker. It's a great representation of Attitude Era Undertaker. So in this case, I can definitely tell you that in person, this head sculpt looks way cooler than what it looks like in the prototype photos. You can see his strands of hair here. It kind of rests on his shoulders. Giving you a look at the back, it's a little bit high. The head kind of sits a little bit high, so you can see a little bit of space between the hair and the neck, but it really doesn't matter. It shouldn't affect all that much. It's looking really good, and it's a version of Undertaker that's really just kind of definitive for that time frame. The posability's all there, uh, and it's gonna be a perfect fit for your collection if you're into the Attitude Era style figures. Also noteworthy, the shoulder pads. This whole entire like upper part of Undertaker's gear is molded. So you can see me pressing down here. Shows kind of the flexibility of the plastic. Uh, you can even pull a little bit on the inside. I'm not gonna pull it off, obviously. It's not removable, so don't try to take it off, but just know that it's given that kind of give with a space in between the, the upper part of his gear and the figure, so it'll look just that much more 
like something that he's really wearing. You can also see his accurate tattoos here. We have some pretty big elbow pads, but uh, they should be pretty easy to pull off, as you can see, if you want to switch them with maybe a smaller pair that you have extras uh, from another figure. Not a big deal. To me though, they look good, so I'm gonna keep them on. You can see his tattoos on the other side. We have some color right here. Looking really good on the forearm. Mattel always goes out all out with Undertaker's tattoos, so there's no difference here. It's all represented. There's one glove, there's two gloves. You can see the detail of his molded straps on the lower part of his gear, and then you get down to the ring tights, and the straps are on this as well. Those are also molded. Uh, they're part of the plastic, and they have that kind of 3D feel. Going all the way down to Undertaker's boots, he has those tall black kick pads, and he is looking pretty good. That toe tap-in articulation that I've told you in the past that I really like on the Ultimate Edition figures, it's all here. Here's the back side, just so you can see it. Going all the way up, whoop, whoop, whoop. Great figure. Rest in peace. And just because this is extra special, here's what he looks like with the entrance gear on. So dope, so evil. Wow, much evil. Very Undertaker. Looking good. Now let's check out Kane, the other brother of destruction. A little more hellfire and brimstone here. Kane is just legendary at this point. Everyone likes Kane, uh, good or bad, for better or worse. We've seen him go through a lot of different looks over the years, but this is the original. This is the original style. This is based on Kane's debut, and this is what a lot of people think of and what most of us kind of expect when we talk about and reference the best of Kane, it's this look right here. Some accessories for Kane, those interchangeable open hands, they look like choke slam hands to me. And again, that pin, now colored just like the actual glove, not colored in a skin tone anymore. And you have Kane's voice box, which I believe we haven't even seen since Elite Series 12, which was the last time we saw, I think, close to exactly this Kane look. So cool for those of you who were either too young or missed that originally, you can get your hands on this again. Suck it. Kane's first words. Also included the WWE late 90s rounded world championship. And if you don't get nostalgic looking at this and just wish that championships still had this kind of style and class, I don't, I don't think I can help you, bro or bro at. A huge inclusion with this figure that everyone was talking about around Comic-Con when these figures were first revealed is this cape included with Kane. Now Kane never actually wore this cape in WWF television. He just had it as a possibility of wearing it. He might have worn it at a live event. I forget what the history is, but this was not a typical look for Kane, but we are lucky enough to see it included with this Ultimate Edition uh, wrestling action figure. So really great to see this. There's a little Velcro on top, so you can open it up, close it, put it around Kane's neck. There's those stud designs painted on. It's got that shiny look on the top part, on this part of the fabric right here. You can see me through it, so it's some fairly thin fabric, but it looks like the cape looked like when you see those uh, behind the scenes shots of Kane wearing this cape. Spot on. I know Bill McKean is happy that he got to include this puppy. Very exciting, nice job, Bill. Now the Kane figure itself. If you watch Ringside Collectibles programming, you'll remember when I was talking to Steve and Bill over Comic-Con about Ultimate Edition figures in general, these figures coming out, and Steve made a great comment about the fact that some of the Ultimate Edition figures just feel larger in your hand, especially for taller guys like Kane, you know, Undertaker, uh, Brock Lesnar, anyone that's like really a huge person in real life. Ultimate Edition figures and Ultimate Edition articulation is a spot on way to represent those folks in real life uh, in the action figure line. So as soon as I take it out of the package, I can definitely feel that. It just feels heavier in your hand and it just adds to what a great job Mattel does with their scale on different sizes for different characters. So for me, even if you're not really a huge Ultimate Edition collector, for some of the bigger guys like Kane and Undertaker, Ultimate Editions are kind of must-haves and this just proves it. 
You can see his mask right here, red and black with that hair right in his face. And this one comes with two head sculpts, so we'll pop that one off, show you the neck ball right there, and pop this one on really quick so you can see it. And there he is with the hair behind his face a little bit. Now, I've seen a few people mention the fact that now it looks like the mask is actually on Kane's face instead of stuck to it like some of the elite figures can look like sometimes. That person is absolutely right. Look at the detail on the straps on the side. You can see the molding of the mask. It looks like a guy wearing a mask instead of kind of, you know, an alien from another planet, which is what Kane generally looks like. But in figure form, to see this level of detail in terms of him wearing a mask is really awesome, especially on this head sculpt with the hair pulled back like that. Ultimate Edition articulation with the shoulders, as you can see, and this is Kane's ring gear. It's the red and black, the big red machine. Whether he's gonna tombstone Pete Rose or do something else crazy, win the championship for one night, whatever, we'll take it, right? We love Kane. So this is a great representation of that. We have a studded gauntlet right here, just so you know, the studs on this one are molded, so they're, they have that three-dimensional feel. Also, the studs on the rest of his gear are molded as well, so these are not painted on studs. You can actually feel and touch these. Uh, he has the ultimate art articulation in the waist here. I like to line mine up, so the ring gear design looks good. Check that out. Uh, and here's his choke slam glove with his choke slam hand. Also, the studs are molded on this as well, and this has that kind of adjustable, not adjustable like you can take it off, but you know, adjustable in the sense that you can feel it as a separate piece from the figure. Going further down, Kane's belt here, also with the real feel studs. This is molded, so you can adjust it, move it up and down. If maybe he ate too big of a pizza that day, you can loosen it up for him a little bit, or if he's trying to suck in the belly a little, move it even higher. On the sides, a continuation to those red and black tights, and they look great, some nice shiny black paint. And on the other side, laces. Now these studs are painted on, but that's okay because most of them aren't. But great look on here. You can see the laces on the side of the leg. There's little red dots in the middle of those, in the middle of those silver uh, studs right here. So that is red. And black kick pad boots, just like his brother, his other brother of destruction. Paul Bearer would be proud of both of these guys. And just a quick look at the back here for you because it's a special occasion. And because it's a special occasion, we'll give you another look with him actually wearing the cape. I chose to do this with the hair back head sculpt. Great look, and you can see the cape just flows all the way down. And on the back, red and black. Now me personally, I'm gonna display him without it because I think he looks a little more menacing that way and that's how I remember him, but those of you with figure feds and figure photography and all that sort of fun stuff, the cape's gonna be a great accessory for you to really mess around with and show us a new side of Kane, possibly even more menacing than before, who knows? One more aspect to discuss before we go. The thing that I really like about this Ultimate Edition 11 Undertaker and Kane is that it's just like the old school Jax Ringside Collectibles exclusive Brothers of Destruction 2 pack. So if you were too young and you don't want to pay those astronomical prices to get those old school Jax figures, this is just so close to what that was, if not better and more detailed. It's really something that you got to get your hands on if you're a Brothers of Destruction fan. So I can't say any more better about the Ultimate Edition 11 Kane and Undertaker. And I really hope y'all grab them before they're gone because they definitely will be. This is some of the best showings that Ultimate Edition has had so far. And it's great to finally get them in hand and great for everybody else to get them in hand too. So check out Ringside Collectibles at WrestlingFigures.com for the largest selection of wrestling figures and accessories in the entire universe. You know the drill. We got it. Everybody else doesn't. They think they do, but they don't. So you gotta go to WrestlingFigures.com. We have all the news, all the new photos. As soon as these arrived in the Ringside Collectibles warehouse, we took photos and they were posted. It's excellent. Nobody else can do that for you. Nobody else on the planet. So go over to WrestlingFigures.com, get yourself a ring, get yourself some accessories, get yourself some of your favorite figures, and get yourself an Ultimate Edition Series 11 Kane and Undertaker before they're gone forever, because when they're gone, they're gone. In the meantime, make it all about wrestling figures.